on the LCS. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the North American League Championship Series. Wrong way, AG faces the other way. Cloud9's not going to give you anywhere to run. That's the surrender, much needed. Man Cloud Ooh. looking to kill Cutie Bot. Good damage, and the knock is going to stop the cooling, but I feel like Man Cloud doesn't have the durability to win this fight. Misses the Glitter Lance, oh. and Cutie Pie wins the fight. Take the toss, take down XDG. There goes Void Boy. They got everyone almost knocked up, but two kills coming in for TSM. It wasn't enough for Curse. No, 29 minutes. TSM takes it on top. You get the TSM chant. Afro able to save double, oh! and then again! The ball delivery cow. Curse dropping left and right, and that's going to be Counter Logic Gaming taking the game. That guy at the front, Afro, making yeah. the plays. Hello and welcome to week seven of the North American League Championship Series. We're coming to you live in front of this amazing audience with another big day of action. I'm Rivington Bizen III, and with me is Sir Joshua Jatt Leesman. How are you doing this fine morning? I'm doing really good, Rube. we got a lot of changes in the about mid-season point here of the LCS. These guys trying to make their big run for the future. We'll see if it works out. We start off our day with big news coming out of the LCS and the return of a familiar face. TSM's two-time MVP mid laner Bjergsen will be out this week and stepping into sub as owner and coach Reginald. Yeah, so the team expects that Bjergsen will return next week, but while he's away, Reginald gets his chance to come out of retirement. They play Dignitas today, and then they have a big showdown with Cloud9 tomorrow for first place. That's right, but change is in the air this week, and it blew through XDG again. After only a week of support, Zuna is on the move. He will be staying in the bot lane, but returning to his 2013 position as the AD carry. Yeah, Zuna's on AD carry, and after just repeated roster changes, X Smithy's finally returning to the jungle. And then also the team is adding Sheep as a support. Sheep most recently was with Curse Academy, and this will be his NA LCS debut. Yeah, and finally, teams today will be playing on the 4.2 patch. Yeah, this is the patch where the Zara 3 work happened. There's small tweaks to Thresh, Yasuo, Mundo, and Kale, a few others. This is the patch that was on live for the past few weeks, but just changed off of it. It's what the LCS guys are on right now. Yep, and let's check in with the action out of Europe's Week 7 with hashtag LCS Big Plays. Our first tweet from that says, Amazing Monk Delivery Service from Wallet4. Yeah, we got another one from Vom Silvermoon. Is there a link to Amazing's Twitter account? He deserves at least one new follower after that hashtag LCS. Yes, big play. He should probably make a Twitter account. Yeah, this moment comes from the Copenhagen Wolves versus Millennium. Here it is, your number one. And they're now chasing in. Youngbuck's going to go low. Now the Wolves turn around. Amazing goes in. What an amazing Whoa. kick that was. Kerb goes down. This could actually be the game here for the Wolves if they play their cards right. Simple split seconds yeah. like that. It's the second He's time so now. He's so fast at that. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. A lot of times you expect a delay after he does the resonating strike on Lee Sin before he kicks him back. Yep. That was just one continuous motion. That guy's amazing at it. Ward jumping is already a hard thing to do, but he coordinates mm -hmm. everything after that amazingly. Go figure. The Damn Copenhagen it. Wolves moved up to tie for fifth, racking up their fourth straight win, while their jungler, Amazing, brought home the MVP title. Yeah, but in the rest of the league, Fnatic was actually able to end their eight-game losing streak with a much-needed win over Gambit. And Gambit, speaking of them, they're in a tie for first yeah. with Rocket. And turning to the NA standings, we find that Team Solo Mid is still king of the hill, sitting in first place. Yeah, always get a big cheer for them. One game back, it's Cloud9 that is sitting at 11-3. And, and in third place, continuing to look strong, is CLG. And Dignitas holds fourth place with an even 7-7. Seven and, seven, and then it is a three-way tie for fifth place with Able Geniuses, Team Coast, and Curse. And in last place, forever making the look a run, XTG 3-11. And uh, we'll get to see XDG's new lineup in action in our first match of the day when they face off against Cloud9. Yeah, then CLG looks to continue their streak when they face off against Curse. After that, we have a mid lane showdown with Scar and Dignitas taking on Reginald and TSM. And we conclude the LCS day with two teams showing renewed life in a battle for fifth place. It's going to be Coast versus Evil Geniuses. Then stay tuned immediately following the LCS for fresh Challenger Series action. That's the schedule for today, but let's break down the ones we will be watching. Up first, it's TSM's owner, coach, and returning mid laner Reginald. He has been a constant presence on the team, but hasn't started a game since Worlds. 
We'll be very interested to see and watch how well he does when he's back on the Rift. Yeah, and of course, returning to his home in the jungle is X Smithy. He was supposed to be the most improved jungler of the 2013 Summer Split. Then he changed off. Now that he's back in the jungle, how much is this going to help XGG as they try and climb out of last place? And the other big new addition to them, Sheep, their support player. We have to watch him. He is coming out of the Challenger League and into the LCS. We don't even have a picture for him yet. He's so new. <laughs> Thresh, Leon, and Annie are his big champions. Nothing new there. Let's see how he adapts. All right. Next week, or next is the week six MVP, CLG Link. He had a huge week and leads the mid laners with the highest KDA of 12.2, nearly doubling the runner up, which is Bjergsen. Yeah, and finally, we need to keep an eye on Curse's Boy Boy. He has been struggling to become that impact player for Curse in the mid lane. He was the first NA player to lose with the Blanc. He's got the second lowest KDA amongst mid laners. He needs to step up to help Curse win. And if you want to learn more about these players and the rest of the pros, head over to lolesports.com. It is the place for you. There you can find interviews, box scores, and all your games from this season for you to watch and rewatch for tricks to up your game. And while you're there, reserve your seat to join our studio audience and get the up close and personal LCS experience. Just click on the tickets link for all the details. You can also cast your vote for who you think is going to take today's games. Click on matches, select week seven, and lock in your best educated guess. And while you're reading the tea leaves, let's send it over to Freak.